As for the intro, it's just one note and it's going to be a harmonic and it's going to sound something like this then. Okay, something like that. And then um, all you need to do for that then, take your index finger, we're going to put it on fret 5 but not on the actual wooden part, we're going to put it on the metal part, okay? So if you look here then, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put it there on the metal part between frets five and six, and I'm going to lightly put it onto string six, okay? So I'm kind of just lightly touching it like that, and then when I play that string, it gives us like this kind of high pitch sound. You know, like that. And all we're going to do is just keep playing that. Okay, and basically that's the intro. After the intro, we've got the main riff, which will sound something like this then. Okay, something like that. Right, so to play this then, first of all, it's string six open once, and then it's going to be your middle finger on fret two, string three. After that, index finger, fret one, string three, and finally, your middle finger onto fret two, string four. So, okay, that's the first part. The second part. You're going to begin by playing string number 5 open this time, then it's back to fret 2 and fret number 1 on string 3, and then what we're going to do is when we go to string 4 fret 2 with our middle finger, we're going to play that once and slide up to fret 4, okay? So, alright, so that's basically the only difference, just sliding up, so in total then. Okay, and that's how to play uh, the main riff. Alright, so the verse will sound like this. Okay, uh, just three different power chord shapes there then. Index finger, fret 7, string 6. Ring finger, fret 9, string 5. Little finger, fret 9, string 4. We're going to play this uh, seven times in total. We're going to go downwards, pause for a split second, and then go down and up six more times. So, like this. Okay, do, 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 do. That's the strumming pattern we're going to be doing. If you look at the tab, we're going to do that twice in that position. Then we're going to move up to frets 9 and 11, do that same pattern, and then go down to frets 5 and 7, and do that same pattern again. So, in total, alright, so that's how you play verse A, if you look at the tab, uh, it's just changed a little bit, what we're going to be doing is uh, playing the exact same strumming pattern, so seven times on each chord, we're just going to be playing some different chords, okay, so index finger, fret two, so you're covering uh, strings four and five, don't cover string six though, because what we're going to do is play that open, we're going to do uh, that seven times, then seven times again. Then after that, it's index finger, fret four, string six. Ring finger, fret six, string five. Little finger, fret six, string number four. Mm. We're going to do that shape, and then slide up to frets five and seven, and do it again, so. Okay, and uh, if you know the song, while that part's playing, like the second guitar goes... <laughs> Like the second uh, guitar just does like the main riff so when you're playing the song you know it's up to you which part you want to play but you know that's how to play the two verses so the main chorus will be something like this okay and it's just one chord shape playing over and over and over so index finger onto fret seven string number five and your ring finger onto fret nine string number three uh, there's going to be string number four in between there we need to mute that so it's ringing uh, so it's not ringing out and it sounds like this okay so it's muted uh, the way we're going to do that is with your index finger instead of curling it sort of round the neck like that lay it more flat so that the bottom of your index finger is touching string four and that'll just mute it for us so when you play those three strings it'll sound like that and what we're going to do we're going to play it 12 times in total 
Uh, if you look at the tap, it's kind of like playing it twice, then four times, then twice, then four times. So, so it's like do 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 do. Okay, and uh, just keep playing that. All right, so that's the main chorus there then. So now we've got the bridge and um, it's basically doing that kind of same octave thing where we're going to be muting the string we're going to just basically keep moving it up the neck and it'll sound something like this then okay so uh, that's the bridge and to play that it's index finger onto fret 11 string number 5 and your ring finger onto fret 13 string number 3 remember you've got to mute string 4 uh, what I do on this part is go down and up kind of like as quick as you can really 16 times then it's sliding up one fret to 12 and 14 play that 16 times slide up to 13 and 15 play that 16 times finally slide up to 14 and 16 play that 16 times and then just play it once more downwards and let it ring out. So again. Okay, and uh, that's a bridge. So the final part then is just the outro. And uh, after the bridge, like we said, it ends on this note. And then after that, I think like the bass kind of goes dum 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 or you know something like that. And the guitar kind of does the same thing like this. Okay, it might be a little bit hard to hear because you know I've kind of got some distortion on. But what we're doing then is playing index finger fret two string number five. I'm gonna play that once. I'll then play string number six open so okay that's like the start and then what we're going to do is take your index finger lay it down on fret two so you're covering strings four and five but don't cover string six because because we're going to play that open and uh, we're going to play this nine times and the way we're going to do that is to play it four times then pause play it once pause play it four more times so Okay, so it's like do 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 do. Yep. Uh, from there, then index finger onto fret two, string six, ring finger, fret four, string five, little finger, fret four, string four. Gonna play this five times. So uh, the pattern is kind of like twice, then three times. Okay, do 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 do. And then what we're gonna do is just slide that up to five and seven and play it again. So five more times. So, in total... Okay, so that's like the sort of first part of the outro. If you look at the tab, we've got one final note that we're going to end on. So, after we've played that a couple of times, we're just going to go back to that shape at fret 2 with our index finger covering strings four and five remember don't cover string six gonna go downwards and let it ring out okay so that's emo then by blink 182 you've learned all the different parts uh, all you've got to do is piece them together so look at the tab down beneath the video uh, you know follow that through you can play along to the song no problems get any uh, problems with it though just you know, let me know leave me a comment or send me a message on my forum make sure you visit my site at fastfingerfreddy.com and sign up for a free account and uh, you know I'll see you there